What's up everybody, Dre right back at it again with another video. Today we are going to be talking about World War 3. No, not the war that would likely cause an apocalypse. I'm talking about the game that was released back in 2018. Come on, guys. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this game, let me quickly explain it. So, this is a game that's very similar to Battlefield 3 and 4 in terms of, like, setting, but it obviously has its own architecture and do own gameplay. It's not like a straight-up ripoff that I know for sure because I've played it countless times to know that there is a difference. But at its core, it is a multiplayer military FPS with massive infantry battles, personalized weapons, vehicles, and drones. If you're someone that hasn't heard of this game, you're probably thinking to yourself, why haven't I heard of it? Why isn't this Battlefield-like game more popular? Well, there are a number of reasons as to why this game isn't as popular as it is, or it really should be. But the main one that I'll cite here is just the fact that they botched the launch of their own game. Basically what happened when the game launched is that their servers were really bad. Like the wait times to get into a server was freaking ridiculous. And even when you got into one, there was hardly anybody to play against. So that obviously killed the game for a lot of people but that's not to say that the game was bad it was actually pretty good i liked it a lot when i actually had people to play with but as time chugged along the game just started to lose a lot of traction with a lot of people and updates started to become less frequent until around late 2020 when they announced a partnership between my dot games and themselves Basically, the partnership, at least from what I see, is My Dog Games funneling a bunch of money to the World War III devs to completely revamp the game and relaunch it. Seems like a pretty sweet deal, but now we're getting to the reason as to why I actually wanted to make this video in the first place, and that's because I was able to play the revamped version of World War III. Now, unfortunately, I'm unable to show or talk about what I experienced. It really sucks because I do have a lot to say about it, but everything is under wraps, so I can't say anything. But what I can say is is that there wasn't a whole lot of participants from my neck of the woods and what i mean by that is basically i saw a decent amount of people from europe which makes sense because i believe this game was made in poland right but when i was looking for people who were in my region there really wasn't that many and i remember the developers putting up like a sign up sheet for people to come in and join but it seems like there wasn't a whole lot of people and this sign up sheet was pretty public like i like to believe that there's a lot of people that are still interested in this game like every time that i drop a video about it like the video does pretty well well in views so i mean there's obviously people that are interested but just seeing how many people were actually in the testing phase of the game has me a bit concerned because this is a game that needs to come back and knock it out of the park but if it's getting player numbers like these then oh boy it's gonna be an interesting reboot i actually heard that they had some issues with getting people into the revamped version of the game and i honestly think that might be the case because i think big fry said he had an issue i can't it's been a while since i've talked to him but i think he had an issue i never got mine i never received any email allowing me to get into this revamped version of the game after I signed up with the little thing that they had on their website. The only way that I got in was because of somebody getting access to the revamped version of the game. That's thanks to Blue the Robot. Shout out to that guy. He recommended me to join it. And I didn't even know that the freaking testing was going on to begin with. Like I was streaming on Twitch. I think it was Among Us. And he just comes in here out of the blue talking about the World War 3. It's like, oh really? Shit. Yeah, dude. Did you not sign up? Or I did sign up, I think. Did you get an email at all? I don't think I got anything. We get the end in Discord. Discord. I don't think I got anything. Pretty sure I sent him my shit. Hold on. Does it not come through email? I could have sworn I did the stuff that they told me to. Not just a Discord DM? Okay, well, maybe I didn't do it. Shit. Yeah, I'll check it out. One time's that Among Us. And so they just went to me right away and signed me up. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. But like I said, there wasn't too many people participating in this revamped version of the game. So I guess the question that I want to ask is, do you still care about World War III? And do you think that this game is going to succeed at all? I mean, I still care about it because, I mean, it wasn't a bad game. It's just a game that really didn't have a good time on launch. I mean, World War III has been known to have really good advertising so far. So, I mean, I think that getting an into the public side is actually going to be pretty easy for them if anybody just decides to go and look at their old trailers they're pretty good looking but the thing that i kind of worry about is if the rumors are true for battlefield 6 and it's going to be like a modern looking game then i feel like world war 3 is going to have a very small window to actually do anything and if they're not putting up the player numbers that you know they would like then the revamped version of world war 3 is going to have a very 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 short shelf life but i'm more optimistic probably more often than i should be because i want the developers to succeed despite some of the mishaps 
that we've had in the past, I still like the game. So I wanted to make this quick video just to ask you those couple of questions. So let me know what you think down below because I'm going to end it here. If you enjoy the fact that I cover games like World War 3, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you would like to support the channel, then check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. With that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.